Welcome to the feature interview. Today we have Richard Graves, the station manager of 90.7 WEHC, our college and community station. Richard, glad to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. You're no stranger to this campus. You graduated from here. I did, yes. I graduated in 08 and dabbled in radio the whole time I was here, and a lot of it has changed uh, since then. I've been back for about a year, so it's, it's definitely good to be back working with a, a bigger WEHC. As the station manager, what does your job entail? What are the, some of the things that you work with on a daily basis? Um, I wear a lot of hats um, with the radio station. We have like 50 employees that are volunteer that range from students, faculty, staff, and professional community people. Um, so I have to do a lot of coordinating with them, a lot of training. I'm, I guess, the pro executive producer for most of the shows. Got to edit audio. I have to do website promotions, a little bit of uh, sales for underwriting. Um, so a little bit of everything. Um, you talked about, you mentioned some of the changes. How has the new radio tower affected the radio station? Well, the new radio tower that um, was built and went on air in October um, of last year, that, that increased our signal to 9,000 watts. So now we go, um, go up to Bluntville in the north, or in the south, and then we go um, to Richlands in the north. We just have a much bigger listening area, but the, really the way that's affected our programming is now we're community stations instead of just students doing student music. We have that too, but um, our afternoon programming is, is very professional as we bring in professional organizations like the William King Center, the Crisis Center in Bristol, Barter Theater. We have doctors, lawyers, veterinarians, like experts in their field talking about local issues, um, so the station's a lot more professional now when it comes to uh, the community involvement. What different kinds of music do we have on the station? We've got, when it comes to um, music, we have more music programs during the evenings, and that's more, we have the indie rock, typical student uh, college radio, what you think of college radio, but we also have oldies, shag and swing, jazz, big band, we have um, you know, old blues, um, new blues, industrial, pretty much every, every t genre of music, whatever your interest is, we play it in some capacity. And it's not just people playing playlists that you can um, go on Pandora and, and play, uh, play a certain genre of music. We have you know, professional people talking about the songs, giving information about it, doing segments inside their show. So it's really, really interesting to listen to. Let's talk about you a little bit. When did you first fall in love with radio and why did you pursue it as a career? Well, I guess I came to Emory & Henry and I wasn't particularly going to do anything with radio or communications, but I was like, yeah, radio, you know, college radio, that sounds fun. And I really pursued radio because I feel like um, radio has a lot of room for growth. This is a non-commercial station and, and I was just sick of commercial radio. I think um, radio as a, as a media just doesn't live up to its potential sometimes you know most of the big stations are top 40 country um, pop or um, you know classic rock which is actually good music in my opinion but you can just go on Pandora to a classic rock station and get that music there's also the you know the talk shows that are just racist or uninformed um, you know the major radio stations aren't serving public interest and I feel like that's what we do with bringing um, local issues to the people and we also have international issues I'd say we're local with a global perspective because we also play BBC News and some NPR programming through our, our partnership with Virginia Tech and their radio IQ um, so then we bring it back home and have the local programs that we produce with these people in the community so it's really neighbors putting on great programming for each other that's relevant to the community. Is there anything that will not go on the air? Do you stay away from some of the shock radio? Is there anything that any programs that we will not offer as a station? How so? What do you mean? Well, you mentioned that some of the stations that you've worked with or experienced aren't necessarily serving the community. Has there been any instances where you've had to steer it in a different way as a station to try to make sure that we keep our community, the local community here, served? Well, I'm a producer for all the shows, so I give them feedback on their shows and what I think they should talk about, and um, kind of the, we talk about the artistic direction and for you know, music shows and for is issues that are more controversial, like you know, abortion or the death penalty. Mm -hmm. That plays itself self out very different, and I would like to think um, some of our shows can be controversial, if that's what you're asking. But um, whenever an issue is covered, it's done and done with both sides in mind, and it's very, I guess, even-handed. So I have to work a lot of with the talk shows to make sure make sure that happens and that all sides and opinions and views are represented. Okay. 
How do we compare to other college campus radio stations? Well, that's a hard question to answer because all, um, all college radio is completely different, and that's why I think kind of college radio and community radio, which we're both, is the future of radio, and that's the direction um, commercial radio should be heading. Um, if it's not, but I'd say one of the things that differenti differentiates our station from others is the community involvement with people that are outside of the college. We even have relationships with Virginia Intermont and other colleges in the area as well as the professional businesses and um, professions that I mentioned before. Where do you see yourself going? What's your ultimate goal? What's your dream job for the radio? For radio? Oh, again, that's hard to say because what we're doing is so unique, it's hard to tell where that experience is going to translate. I would definitely like to do something in the, um, in the music industry, whether it's management or booking for bands or work at a larger radio station, but I just enjoy community radio that does so many different things. I would get bored if I was working at a, sta a commercial station just, that just played the same songs over and over and over again. So I'd say maybe another radio station that's like ours in a bigger area. Okay, I know that you've interned at a radio station in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Was that how has that experience shaped your time here? That was a, well, that was great experience. I got to do you know a lot. And it's working in commercial radio and in a big city is very different than working in a small community. And it was kind of a blessing and a curse as a you know, student intern. I didn't get to have as much um, creative mm -hmm. oversight over what they played, and it. It did get a little tiresome playing, hearing the same songs over and over again, but it was nicer because we'd get to associate ourselves with big festivals and concerts, although our, our campus radio station is doing that right now. is very happy with our, our coverage of Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion. A lot of the major bands have been interviewed and featured on our station, and we um, went in there and got some more interviews and gave away tickets on, on over the air, so we're trying to get more involved with that like we were, a, I guess, a big city radio station. What's in your iPod right now? What do you listen to in your spare time? Um, I guess a lot of the bands that I just heard at, uh, heard at Rhythm and Roots, Dr. Dog, Felice Brothers. Um, I wrote a pa an article for the White Topper with the Hold Steady. I've been listening to them a lot um, lately as well, but a, a little bit of everything and even some of the uh, local music that we feature on our station I've got on my iPod and some of the shows. Great. Well, thank you for coming on the show. Next time you're sorting the radio waves, ride the field on down to 90.7 WEHC, your college and community station. Next, we have a video spot of, Megan, of Morgan Grant, a volleyball player for the Wasp, who traveled to Haiti on a mission trip. Morgan experienced firsthand the aftermath of the devastating earthquake. 